just it. They have superior bodies. They are celestial. You are not celestial. Your body, because of sin, must go back to the grave. So why can the superior body, why should the superior body be subject to the perishable? They won't accept that. But unfortunately, even you have refused to be transformed to the spirit man that they should see. So they take advantage of you because of that. Today, I reverse the tables around you. They will see the spirit man that they should see. That unto principalities and powers. Meaning that you live on earth to rule both spirits and men. Angels and men. Unto principalities. Might be made known the manifold, the different kinds of wisdoms of God. The beauty of his wisdom in human flesh. In the church. Through the church. By the church. How many of you are understanding what God is saying? Listen, meaning that this day God is transforming us back to the original program. Making us sit over spirits and over men. Putting them one step lower. Making them messengers. Making them subject to us. So this six months, there is a restoration of spirits that are called men who walk the earth. So you are being released as a spirit. La la la, la la la, la la, la la la. Of your river flow, let the truth of your kingdom reign in us. Let the way of your glory, let the way of your glory.
verse 11 on the screen. Shall we all rise up on our feet? Shall we all read? It says, according to the eternal purpose which he proposed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Can you say, Heavenly Father, let the eternal overthrow the temporal in my life now and set up your statues of glory, your statue of power. Let there be a divine transformation I stand in the place of your mountain, in the place of your glory, in the place of your word, to exercise dominion in the earth, in the perfect form of my image that is in Christ Jesus. I stand in that image tonight to release your word to rule the earth, that today I call upon the heavens and the earth to bear witness against all the enemies of God and begin to vomit them out. Now, can you call that witness of heaven and the earth to bear witness? Can you call them to begin to vomit out all forms of wickedness that have taken root and declare you are standing there as they, according to the eternal purpose, unto this were you born, to subdue principalities and powers and put them in their rightful places. Can you call all the angels that are for you? Let them join you in cutting them off. Call them from the four winds. Every angel that was created for this purpose, for this season, according to Revelation chapter 14, join me now. Flush them out of Nigeria. Enter into my father's house, my kindred, my language, my people group, flush them out every institution of darkness that is a poison to my life to nigeria flush them out oh yeah i have given you the prayer item begin to pray now in this six month of the gregorian calendar not the christian calendar the gregorian calendar let god arise Let the Lord sit in it upon his throne. Elevate you to the place of his eternal purpose. And release angels. In the name of Jesus. Open your eyes and look at me. Listen. Do you want prayer item for yourself? Until the Lord elevates you to the place. Of his eternal purpose. The world in this season will not listen to you. You will not fulfill your prophecy. You must insist that the Lord takes you from the ordinary and put you in the place of his eternal purpose. That is where that verse 11 stops. And it's a whole verse. Standing in his internal purpose is what changes everything for us. I want to walk in that purpose. I want to speak from that purpose. I want to live life from that purpose. I want to have riches from that purpose. Eternal purpose. Once your spirit begins to think about your eternal, the reason why you were born on earth eternally. What eternal legacy were you left meant to live on earth? That is what you pursue. If you were meant to be the richest man in Nigeria, pursue it. If you were meant to be the president of this nation, pursue it. But he will carry you through the path of the spirit for that to happen. So you must make him elevate you to stand upon the place of his eternal purpose for your life. In the spirit realm then you can rule the physical and make it conform. Can you say, Heavenly Father, shed away from my life now every blurring spirit, everything that has put fakeness around me, 
destroy them in the name of Jesus. Now elevate me to stand upon the oil and the covenant and the oath of my eternal purpose. As a spirit man, let all creation be made subject to me. Let them fulfill my destiny tonight. That's the covenant I enter into. The covenant of translation that you will translate me now into the human being that I should be. The spirit man that I should be into my eternal purpose. From that place in the name of Jesus is created by God fulfill prophecy in my life and around me in the name of Jesus. Can you ask the Lord now that let his angels from the four ends of the earth enter into your bloodline into your community, your language people, the spirits that rule your language and today begin to make them subject to his eternal purpose let the earth conform to his purpose let the earth conform you must pray tonight because this is the final prayer this is where the Lord is bringing us to. That our lives will conform. Begin to command the secret of the Lord to enter into your bloodline and shake up things there. Into your country and shake up things there. Into the spirit realm of this nation and shake up things there. Moses call upon the heavens, the angels of the heavens and the earth to bear witness. The spirit of the heavens. To bring life and death against every spirit of disobedience and life and death. Life for every obedient spirit that obeys the word. Can you call upon them to begin to build for you your own dominions? Some of you don't even have anything you rule over. Can you tell God, build my dominions for me. I want to rule over something in my life. Those of you who don't have things you rule over, you were meant to rule by birthright. You were not meant to die as an ordinary human being. Listen, tonight I see the Lord destroy old thrones and I see him build new ones and I see him put new people upon those thrones, the new ones he's building. I release the hand of God to release a wave around you that changes your seat of power so that you sit upon the new seat that God is creating for his people. Receive that visitation in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear somebody shout amen. That means I see the Lord putting people in new stations in these six months. New places. The same way he will put Nigeria in new stations. And he will take away old stools. And he will establish new thrones. Can somebody wave and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout amen. Somebody shout Amen. Somebody shout Amen. I wanted to give live examples of things happening in the last two weeks in Nigeria. Then I realized that it will go too far. Because I'm talking about human beings in power now. The shiftings that are taking place. Let me tell you. 
suddenly suddenly thrones will change I say go and enter into your own new throne because there is one waiting for you I didn't hear somebody say amen I had the Lord use the words he's breaking old stools stools for thrones you know in the olden days in our languages we call them stools chiefs sat on stools but now they sit on thrones I hear God saying he's removing old stools for new thrones because it's part of the change of season and he's making people wear their own crowns and putting scepters in your hand I command your throne to find you a brother within our ministry in one of the universities shared how in the midst of crisis God promoted him twice gave him two thrones at once in the last one month I was in America when that text came in the last one and a half months God opened up God is just announcing what will happen in the second half of this year today let your exchanges take place promotions you have forgotten will revisit you now listen I want you to begin to bless the Lord for tonight. Give him glory. Give him praise. Give him adoration. because I came here I had the Lord say that everything that has been instituted in the stars to rob Nigeria and to rob us of the glory that was meant for us that starting from tonight they will be busted they will be broken and they will be shattered I wrote it on my paper Exactly the way the Lord said it. Ah, he said the remaining of this year will open new gates. And speak new things. The transition might be painful. It might be painful. It might not be that smooth. But the pain will bring us new glory. The pain will bring us new glory. What I saw in this mid-year, pots and posts being broken and smitten and the princes of darkness being scattered and being set in confusion in Nigeria. That is what the later part of the year is bringing. That light might begin to come back to our great nation. I didn't hear somebody say amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. Can you open your mouth and begin to ask the Lord to smite the doorpost of Nigeria? That the doorpost might shake. So that every word he has spoken might happen. Let the angels go to war. Let them go to harvest with their sickles in this country. Let the angels go to their harvest. But let the Lord smite the doorpost of Nigeria. Let it shake and quake. And let the angels enter into the harvest. And let them bring the harvest of the Lord to a great nation. Can you begin to proclaim, let the harvest begin. Let it begin in my life, begin in my home, 
let it begin in the country let it begin everywhere let the angel with the sequel let him trust out his sequel and begin harvest the harvest of souls I hear God proclaiming a harvest season spiritually and physically harvest against evil and harvest of righteousness harvest of souls and harvest of raw prosperity and abundance harvest harvest we are entering into the season of the sequel the sequel the sequel you are highly lifted up awesome God you are highly lifted up awesome God now just before we go into that song if you know there is anything you need to reconcile with God reconciling your life reconciling your place I want you to leave that seat and come forward Reconciling your faith, reconciling your Bible study life, your prayer life, reconciling gates that have been destroyed. I want to leave that seat and move forward quickly. And come, let us pray together. God bless you. Let's rush quickly because we don't have time tonight. Anything that the Lord needs to reconcile. You will just stand in front and face me here. Let the Lord start a new thing. Let the Lord start a new thing. Anything the Lord needs to reconcile. Awesome God. You are highly Awesome God, Jesus. You are highly lifted up. Awesome God, you are highly lifted up. Awesome God, you are highly lifted up. for Christians new cities for nations in these six months and new habitations for nations dwelling places and then as if to confirm that I got a call from a, a very senior minister in his 70s he gave me a call from the United States he said Kure I didn't tell you this he calls me brother Kure he said brother Kure I didn't tell you this. But I hear the Lord say, go and tell your kings in southern Kaduna to stop striving over old worlds and start building new cities. I said, what did you say? He said, the Lord says, let them gather their architects. Begin to build the next generation. And it will swallow the old. Let them carve new plots of lands. They have plenty of land in South 
modern cities, not huts, and set standards and say, if you won't build to this standard, you don't build here. No mud house, except if it is a stylistic mud house that is meant to bring tourism. Then it will look different from other mud houses. But he, they will create new cities with roads, with water, electricity. They will build new cities for their people. And you know, he was confirming what God was already telling me for the nations. That in this season, he's going to build new cities. And he's going to build new habitations. You will not strive over the old waters. Can you give me the clarity of this volume? It's like you are numbing it even in my ears. You will not fight over old waters. Did you hear what I said? Anything that is gone stale is not your portion. I didn't hear somebody say amen. I didn't hear somebody say amen. So today, everything that has shut your life down, and I'm praying for everyone now, including those who are standing outside, anything that has become a blockade, I command their walls to scatter around you. I command you to enter into your new garden and to begin to plant them and to build them. Receive the visitations of the Lord in Jesus' name. I didn't hear somebody shout, Amen. No wonder I woke up one day and I heard the Lord speak with urgency. Go build my garden for me. Because it's the season to build habitations of the Spirit. That garden is supposed to be a habitation of the Spirit for people, for all nations. He said, go build my gardens. I didn't know it was a sample of the Lord building new cities and new habitations for people. All of you who are standing out here, anything that has haunted your life, I release the fire of God from here to go after them and burn them out of your lives in the name of Jesus. I didn't hear those of you standing out here shout Amen. I want everybody to begin to pray one prayer. Let the Lord send the hunters out to begin to clear the new field for you. Father, send hunters. Clear the new habitation. Clear the new field. The new place. There is a place God is opening in the coming season. I cannot emphasize that enough. Father, send your hunters. Send your angels. Let them clear my new place for me. For me to come in. For me to rest. Everybody pray that prayer. My father, I pray that for myself, for my children and my house. In the name of Jesus, let the covenant come alive. Open new places for us. Create new habitations for me and my family. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke the Amalekites that are in the land. I rebuke the Amalekites that possess the land. Today, I release a slaughter against them. Father, cut them off. Cut them off in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to cut off the Canaanites and the Amalekites that are already in the land? Let the Lord remove them. Those of you who are standing outside, can you ask the Lord to sanctify you by the blood and redeem you from every nation, every trap, every spirit, every tongue, every strange language, Redeem you from the power of sin. Every ordinance, every restriction in your life. Father, redeem me. Redeem me from every ordinance, every strange tongue, every witchcraft. Redeem me from the power of sin, the spirit of sin. Redeem me from my circumstances. The blood of Jesus bring me redemption today. Those of you sometimes I begin to pray for yourself. These are the days when God is gathering his people and settling them in a new place. When the Lord is turning upon Zion, 
and doing a new thing all over the earth. Begin to ask the Lord to do that for you now. Can you ask God to wash you for sin? Where you have not kept covenant. You made promises you never kept. Your life is falling apart. Tell him to gather you back. Tell him you call upon him on this altar to have mercy. To show you mercy. Bring true repentance from your heart. That the Lord might change your story. Ask him to write a new story for you. A new direction for you. Ask him to come inside your heart and heal you from within. Set you free from within. And build a new habitation for you from within. Tell him you cannot do anything by your power anymore. You are asking for his help to come inside of you and change your life and tell a new story for you. Can you raise your two hands to the Father? Tell him that by an oath you are inviting him to bring deliverance to your physical temple by destroying every strange power that has established a stronghold to resist your life. Let God destroy them. Let God set your spirit free from every bondage of the kingdom of darkness from their tongue from their shrines from their thrones let God set you upon a new place and rewrite the story of your life tell God to come into your temple and take you out to the new place make you a new creature wash you in the blood restore your glory restore your shining restore your shining restore your signs and wonders restore your signs and wonders restore the habitation of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus let him set you free completely and make you a new man begin to welcome the Holy Spirit now welcome him and the works of his hands and thank him for answering your prayer for some of you there are specific things you want God to attack I want you to look for those things specifically now point to something and tell the Lord attack this part for me deal with this one for me from this altar judge it and then note what you are talking about because you will share the testimony here Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. And the people of the Lord will say, Amen. Today, I release a new life unto you. Can you take in a deep brief breath and breathe out? I invoke the power that forgives sins to take away iniquity from your life and bring you forgiveness today in Jesus' name. I invoke the new spirit of God that you have invited inside to take you out for signs and wonders. I declare each one of you a sign and a wonder. I say I declare you as a sign and a wonder. Every bone that needs to be repaired, let it be repaired now. Let your sicknesses disappear in the name of Jesus Christ. From today, there shall be no more obstructions in your life. The obstructions are taken away. Can you begin to thank God again? Just give him glory. Give him praise. 
thank you, Father. Glory, honor, power, majesty, be your so God. Amen. Quickly go back to your seats. I want all the women now come out. All the women. Everyone, whether you attended the women conference or you only came for the winds of the spirit, if you are a woman, whether you are a young girl or you are an ancient, I want you to step out. You are worthy, Father, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. You are worthy, Father. You are worthy. We give you glory. We give you all the praise. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, Jehovah. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Hallelujah. We give you glory. from the place of the womb that God gives birth. 
Ask the Lord by the covenant of the womb by which he marked you different from the man. Any strange birth in your family, in your home, whether of events or of spirits, let him cut them off. You curse them out of your house. Or you begin to invoke and proclaim. Begin to command. The Lord told me that is one gift he will give you for this conference. Are there changes you are asking for? Prophesy the change of statue. Let him plant a new tree in your life that will grow out your life. I have seen the Lord's goodness, his mercy and compassion. I have seen the Lord's goodness. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Can you tell the Lord to plant a new tree in mercy? Plant a new tree in my home. Let it grow and blossom and prosper. And destroy every evil tree. There were two trees in the garden. There were two trees in the garden. There was a tree of life. And there was a tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Can you invoke the tree of life? To overthrow the tree of evil. Tell God to plant a new tree that will give only life in your family. Moju barere Moju barere Obata uri Tarishe omore Oshu barere Can you command the invisible to repair the visible? To change the visible? Father, I command the invisible in my life to change the visible and make a highway of miracle and that will be the pattern of your life when you get into a place the invisible will change the visible if you want that as an ordinance in your life hold your womb and command it I'm carrying you the covenant through the covenant God commanded me to carry you through command the invisible To change the visible in your life. To control the visible from now henceforth. That everywhere you enter by this covenant tonight. The invisible will rule the visible. The midwives received children. Today, can you ask the Lord? Every seed by your hand must prosper. Tell him now. Make seeds grow out of my hand. If you like, show him the hand. Spread it before him. Out of this hand, let seed grow. Let seed prosper. I enter into covenant from now henceforth. Oh my God. Let seed, seed grow out of my hands. I enter anything I handle. Let seed grow. Let seed grow. Let seed grow. And let your spirit protect that seed. As it was with Eden, let it be with me. Let the laws of the spirit protect my seed. 
Let's see it grow. Obatauri Tari She Obore Oshu Barere Obatauri Tari She Obore Oshu Barere Invisible God You are the miracle Authority 
everywhere I enter let the covenant of life this covenant of life never be taken away from me in the name of Jesus Christ can somebody say amen and help you. Let him wear upon your new garment today. And let the authority and the dominions of your womb rule around you. Unlocking doors and fulfilling prophecy. And fulfilling your life. And opening opportunities. Let the Lord set you different from the man. To fulfill your destiny. Listen, I told them in the U.S. that in spite of the men being there, we are entering not just into the years of the apostolic for the woman, the woman will feel things distinct from the man. Separate, they are not, forgive my choice of language, they are not just housewives anymore. Every woman has a statue to fulfill. Today, I separate spirits from your life. Every limitation coming from your husband, your children, nature, your circumstance, your community to shadow your fulfillment. I break it in the name of Jesus. I separate your statues to announce you. Can you say, Heavenly Father, let my womb announce me and announce the apostolic and help me fulfill the apostolic after fulfilling the ministry of giving birth let the apostolic be fulfilled in my life setting statues in the earth that cannot be reversed I receive this power now and I enter into my mandate in the name of Jesus to be fruitful in the works of my hands. Can you give me this volume, please? To stop shutting it down. To be fruitful in the works of my hands. And in every place that I enter, to set a new statue. In the name of Jesus. Today, by this oil, I release your womb to speak. That as you anoint yourself, the fullness of the statue that you were ordained to become will open up and explode everywhere. Everywhere you enter, you will enter into your own place, into your own glory. In the name of Jesus Christ. I didn't hear any woman say amen here. Daya, you will take this to the back there. You won't give it to them. You will give them, they will hold it themselves, put their hands, give it to, pass it. Just ensure that it is passed around. This one will begin from the middle here and it will move accordingly. The other one will move from the end there. I want somebody to take it is taking it to the end for me, yes. Every statue that was ordained for you to fulfill, by the virtue of your womb, that makes you different. And the Bible does not talk about the private parts. It talks about the womb. When it talks about the breast, it's a place of pleasure for both men and women. Even men have breasts. That is why they can grow it. In fact, there are some men's breasts that are bigger than that of women, especially the huge men. So that is not the issue. But the womb, 
A man cannot replicate. A man cannot grow. It's the mark of the woman. The womb was meant to be the secret of the woman and the secret of her dominion. Today, in the name of Jesus, as you are anointed, let your womb proclaim you in your right place. I repeat, let your womb drive away every darkness. Anoint your head and then touch the oil from your head to anoint your breath and breathe it in. Anoint your head, touch the oil on your head, anoint your breath or even breathe it in. Now, if you have done that, go back to your seat. If you are kneeling down, you kneel down and pray for yourself for a moment and command the staff of authority in your house. Command the staff of authority to you in your house, in your business, in your office, that your inheritance will not be stolen. The day of the apostolic is here for the woman. You will anoint yourself and you will command. You will speak things. You will speak things. So as soon as you anoint yourself, you do that. There were three bowls. Pass them. Let them go around. Bring the bowl back here. There are people in the line waiting. Uh, those of you who are collecting it and holding it permanent there. Can you bring it back to the line? Who is that holding the bowl? Bring it back to the line. Now bring it back to the front row. Let it go round. Yes, the front and the second row can be sharing. Quickly pass it. Don't hold it. When you touch it, give it to the next person or the third person. Pass it, pass it. Give it. Bring it back to the front row.
have studied. I have gone on my whole scripture, turned it the other way around. Everything that has a womb controls creation. And I discovered that the women have their apostolic. I'm not talking about general apostolic. There is an eternal purpose for every woman beyond giving birth. If missed it, did you hear what I just said? Sarah, with all her success, also missed it. Deborah got it. Abigail, Bathsheba got it. The woman with number seven, Bathsheba. The meaning of Bathsheba is seven. The seven wells of government, of covenant, the oath of the law, the meeting place between spirit and man. That's Bathsheba. There are quite a number of women who got it, but there are many more who missed it. Their eternal purpose, they fulfilled it before they died. Mary got it. Her stubbornness. She was not just the mother of Jesus. She was too insistent and persistent. Even against the Savior. Very rude. She got it. She became the messenger of heaven by herself. So we have countless examples of those who got it. Sarah was a stable force, but did not fulfill the ultimate purpose. Though was still the wife of Isaac. She got the covenant for the Savior by protecting. Jacob. But she stopped there. She was not supposed to stop there. She didn't finish her own. It's like those who didn't fulfill their work. Moses didn't fulfill his work. Great men that didn't fulfill their work. These women, great women, still did not fulfill their work. They had plenty of opportunity to change times and seasons. They did, but they did not complete it. Sarah did not do something about Ishmael. Otherwise, the mountain of Ishmael will not be speaking today. She didn't complete her work. She was just satisfied that she was left alone. But her place in destiny, maybe that was according to the will of God, note that, was not completed. Wandering nation. How many of you understand what I'm talking about? Now, the eternal purpose of God is being restored to man. Women in this season will fulfill their eternal purposes. Once God sits in the cloud, is to draw men to their eternal purposes. You will not die, each one of you, until you have fulfilled your eternal purpose. I didn't hear the women say, Amen. Can you open up? Is the communion there? Because the way you are moving is as if it's not there. So it doesn't look like you just covered the place. You are going to go very fast. Because we want to finish this service. There is one more prayer before we finish. Father, unlock the mysteries of the earth for us now.
as we enter into your holy presence and the fulfillment of, of prophecy through this hallowed flesh. Today, unlock the mystery of the fellowship that is in Christ Jesus that was hidden from the beginning as we eat today. Unlock the powers of heaven inside our bodies. Unlock us. Somebody say, unlock me. Open my spiritual gates as I eat today and release me to my spiritual realms to reign and to rule and to conquer Thank you, Father. My Father, facing Jerusalem, I break this now and I invoke your spirit to come in the power of the Messiah and transform us and the nations of the earth by this holy sacrament. As they eat, let your spirit enter into their bodies. Let the change of seasons begin. We receive this with thanksgiving. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. My Father. Let the handwriting in the blood of Jesus come alive and from the spirit realm begin to blot out ordinances against the church everything that killed the church let it die let this blood raise judgment against them let our lives be restored our glory be restored our healings be restored the powers of heaven be restored we receive this gift of life through the sacrifice of this blood and invoke the powers of your resurrection to clothe us as we drink. We invoke the new seasons as we drink of this holy sacrament. By this we declare all men and women hallowed here and the change of seasons. Thank you for hearing us. In Jesus' name. Like the rivers we are healed, so let your blood go forth and heal the rivers of our lives. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, I invoke the power of the Messiah to begin a new thing now. In all the nations of the earth, begin a new thing. In the name of Jesus Christ, and the people of the Lord will say, Amen. The people of the Lord will say, Amen. The people of the Lord will say, Amen. Today, by the blood of the Lamb, be sanctified now to serve in the presence of the Lord. Let the Spirit of God serve, not you. I shield you from the communion. You are just carriers. But the spirit is in the altar of the communion. You will go forth now. And the people will prosper by this communion. In Jesus name. And the people will say, Amen. The people will say, Amen. Now, listen. They are going to serve. Very soon we'll pass this oil to all the others. And the women can anoint themselves a second time because this general person is different. But while you are at your seat, they will pass it as they serve the bread. After the communion, they will serve the oil again to all. It's the middle of the year. And this time, the reason for serving is to release the angels into your dwellings to fulfill the purpose of these six months. Do you understand what I'm just saying? 
the oil will sit on your head as an open gate for the angels to pass into your life pass into your house and start carrying their assignment for these six months and God said everybody will be anointed with oil as an open door for the heavens did you hear what I just said what there while they are yet breaking and before they begin to serve Haka hakaya Haka Jehovah Nemema Onwe bubeya Keneru wari Nebeno Isi Kenu Kena Niki Kata Haka hakaya Haka Jehovah Nemema Now listen that are ordained unto destiny. And many of you began to grow to eat. But it's like there is a restraint somewhere you cannot understand. You've done everything humanly speaking and you are just relaxing the Lord. It's like a restraint you cannot understand. If you fall into that category, I want to leave your seat and come forward and stand with me here. You are still going back to collect your flesh. That is not the priority now. The priority is this prayer. I repeat, you were building something, growing something. You got somewhere and it's like there is a bus stop there and you know that is not where you are supposed to stop. And there seems to be a hand of restraint and you cannot understand that hand of restraint. God calls you the elect that were ordained to change things. Except that there is a restraint. Aka akaya Aka chioma de memma Onwe bubeya Kene luari de beno Isi kenu Yena
and the work of righteousness shall be peace and the effect of righteousness quietness and assurance for and my people shall dwell in a peaceable habitation in sure dwellings in quiet resting places let somebody say amen. amen can you raise your hands up can you tell the father tonight as I eat in the name of Jesus let your oath in your flesh break the walls in my habitations and in my progress and in my rising let the voice rise from the communion to break these walls, break these walls. Open your mouth and pray now. Let the communion become a curse to every spirit that has haunted me, every spirit that has created a counter environment around me, every spirit that is at war, including my own spirit. Force for me and a change environment force for me whether I want it or not create a new environment for my release but in this season let me enter into the new place and walk in the habitation of the gods and prosper open your mouth and pray for yourself Tell him as you eat the communion, let the fire of God fall upon you and break the walls. Let there be a curse for every circumstance and situation. Every law of this earth that will not allow you to enter. Let there be healing for your soul, healing for your body, healing for your spirit. Command that healing. God said we needed to pray this prayer before you eat of that communion. Let the Lord restore you into the tree of life. Until the spirit be released from on high. Until it is poured from on high. There cannot be healing. Your blessings cannot become a forest. The wilderness cannot become a forest. Tell the Lord by the oath in his flesh because of this season that we are in of the eternal purposes of God let the yoke of your hindrance be destroyed. Let an angel go before you and destroy and destroy the obstruction. Let an angel be situated on your behalf as you eat of this flesh let a new miracle be Let your journey continue. Whatever has stopped it, let it be destroyed. Including anything coming from you. Let him not just show you, let him remove it. Father, force yourself on me. That I might fulfill your will. If you cannot pray that extra prayer, don't pray the prayer at all. Because it might hurt you as well. As glorify you. Tell God, let this holy communion be witness. Let your spirit enter into me. Can you raise your hands? I invoke the power of God from on high. To follow the controlling spirit, the manipulating power the spirit of seasons and times that have buffeted and shut down your spirit I break that curse in Jesus name I release your rivers to flow can you tell the Lord I repent for any made. forgive me selfishness greed iniquity misusing opportunities 
compromise forgive me haughtiness pride forgive me iniquities of the flesh and of the mind forgive me the blood of Jesus created a new person in me today forgive me give me another chance open a new door let me continue my journey I vow not to fall into those sins again you must promise in him that because some of you each time he makes you grow pride comes in each time he makes you you begin to talk haughtily today we break that demon in your life and destroy its purposes in Jesus name If I release the spirit of God to be a new man, a new woman, and rewrite a new story for you. In the name of Jesus Christ, be healed and delivered now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Be set free now. Somebody shout, I am free now. In the name of Jesus. Can you wave to the Lord and shout, Amen. Now, go back and eat your communion. Let the angel of the Lord go out with you and begin the new thing he wants to do. Now, make sure they get their communion. So those of you who are hanging around waiting for them, as they sit down, if you sit down, you don't have your communion, you just wave your hand where you are. Or as you are going, collect it. If they are standing by you, they just collect your, your flesh and go. If you find out that your neighbor has collected one for you, it means you are eating two tonight. Uh, you manage the two. Don't get too filled up. Did you hear what I said? Uh -huh. But collect the flesh as you go. But adventure, there is none waiting for you on your seat. Just collect it. And if your neighbor already has one for you, collect that one too. Uh, it's your portion. Haka, haka, ya. Aka Jehovah Ole Bubeya Kene Ruari Nebeno Isi Kedu Yena Diki Atata Aka Aka Ya Aka Jehovah Nebeba Aka Jehovah Aka Jehovah Nebeba
of his spirit should not happen in my life. Whatever is already there that is not fulfilling, take them away from my life. Holy Father, tonight, build a new habitation for my spirit, a new habitation for my soul. Cut off every condemnation from my life and usher me into a new life. I'm not hearing your voices. I'm not hearing your voices. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the, he uh, God the Holy Spirit, unlock a new heaven of the flesh of life. And I drink of the blood of the testament, the testament in his blood, in the name of Jesus Christ. Can you begin to eat of the flesh? Begin to eat. And today, as you eat, every measuring line, every line of demarcation that was created over your life, as you eat, let that line begin to break. Every spiritual line that is set upon you and carries strange witnesses outside the word of God, let it break away. Let walls, W O R I R L D S walls begin to separate before you right now. I release you as you eat to enter into your own city, to enter into your glory, to enter into your new place. Every contention against it be swallowed up. Every contention against you now be swallowed up in the name of Jesus. Can you begin to pray that prayer for yourself now? Every contention against me be swallowed up. Let the walls be separated. The walls. Let the Lord create his own world around me. The world that fulfills my destiny. Let him create them. Let them put the men that fulfill my destiny in my place. Let them come to fulfill. Let God create your own world. The Lord will not put in my place people who will not fulfill my destiny from now. That is the prayer I'm asking you to pray. Let a new world open to you. By this cone of my gates, fulfill the testament in your blood. Let my redemption be made complete. Eat and pray. And if you are still asking for forgiveness, ask for forgiveness, but eat and pray. Say, Heavenly Father, remember me in heaven tonight. 
you remember me in heaven tonight? Jesus, 
I receive the sanctification of my spirit, my soul, and my body. I receive the redemption of my flesh and the redemption of my spirit and the redemption of my soul. I receive the mark of God for this season, for divine visitations. I receive the breaking of the yoke and the release of the gift of life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you begin to bless the Lord for the miracle of your life? Thank him for the testament in his blood and the testimony written inside for your life. Receive help from on high as you drink of the blood of Jesus now. Thank you, Father. You may drink of the blood. so shall it be with me, O God. Your spirit will keep the hand lifted and everything shall be worn around me. I receive this blessing. Heavenly Father, keep my hand lifted up. Keep my hand lifted up until the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of my God. Let these hands not go down. I receive the blessing of the kingdom of heaven on earth. I receive the blessing of the kingdoms of God. And the angels of God that rule those kingdoms. I receive their blessings now. I walk out of this place as a God of dominion ordained by you consecrated by you as a spirit of dominion as a power of dominion so do I walk out of this place thank you Holy Spirit in Jesus name can you wave to the Lord and say Amen now Kaya can you get seven people let them carry these oils Four of them will go behind. Only three will be in front. They will pass it from row to row. It's faster when you are not holding it. You saw what happened here. 
Let the people touch it by themselves. And let them pass it. Can you?
the scripture warns about what you say, the words of your mouth, in that same scripture. Because every word you say will have a mate that follows it. We are restoring the days back, I mean the days of the authority of the church. By the chair, I am delivered. Praise the Lord. Can we rise up on our feet while they are yet passing it? Deliver. Praise the Lord. I am delivered.
and I will set a new calendar for your life. From now henceforth, you shall not walk in the old path. You shall walk in the new that I have ordained for you. The old is passed away and the new is come upon you and by you the new is come upon your nation. Say the spirit of the Lord. I hear the Lord say, Shall the deep not give up at your sight? Shall the secrets hidden in the mountains not open at your coming? Shall the clouds not rain down that which it was holding? Behold, like in the day of the manna, I will drop bread from heaven and you will never be hungry again. I will remember you in this season and I will come down to walk with you, say the Spirit of the Lord. And the enemy shall not be able to touch you or smite you or derail your destiny. If only you will walk in my path and you will keep my word and my fear will go before you. I will succor you from the power of the enemy and I will make you fruitful in everything. I will make you abound and I will make your fruit grow like tall trees and they shall become shade upon your head and upon your life. And in this life, you will bless me and you will serve me all the days of your life. Bring in praise. And I will turn your house into my garrison. Into the garrison of my angels. The habitations of the spirits. Say the spirit of the Lord. I hear the Lord say, and you will never lack fellowship again day and night shall be a communion of the spirit and you will know that I the Lord I have set you apart and I have visited the earth say the spirit of the Lord wow I hear the Lord say shall your house not be called a Bethel the Lord tonight. Let's give him glory. Let's give him praise. I hear the Lord say you will sleep tonight but for seven days you will sleep and at the end of seven days I'm not saying you will be sleeping continuously for seven days but seven days day and night, day and night at the end of seven days you a new body and a new mandate. I hear God say for that seven days you will wake up every night and give me praise. For the next seven days you will wake up starting from the night of the Saturday at any time in the night, any time from 12 midnight any time before 6 o'clock it's not part of your morning prayer you will wake up just to worship the God of heaven 
give him praise. Lift up his high praises. If you can do that for one hour, give him praise. And go back to sleep if you want to sleep. Seven day, will you build an altar of praise? Seven days. And I will give you a new body. I will give you a new flesh. And I will give you a new spirit. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Say the Lord. Can you thank God for this new season? Let's give Him glory. Right now, just by the oil and the communion, many people are healed here. They can feel the liberty on their chest. The healing. I can see chest related ailments. They have disappeared. It's just different. And the weaknesses that came by it is taken away forever. I saw a partial paralysis healed. The nerves set free. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. I saw somebody with a vertebra pain at the middle of the vertebra. It's like a chuku chuku there. I saw the chuku chuku removed. Your pain is taken away for eternity. Receive your miracle in the name of Jesus. Can you check yourself and just give God his glory? While you were breathing that oil and praying, things were happening in your body. Things. Somebody, I don't know whether your muscles got mixed up. Your muscles. It's like, I don't know what kind of disease that. It, it got folded. It folded. It just got mixed up. Only the doctors know what kind of name they call that one. But the muscles is a muscle related ailment. And I saw the Lord just losing that muscle. And the Lord set you free from those pains in that part of the body because of the muscles. You are free forever in the name of Jesus. And God says you must testify. You must share your testimonies. There is a mystery about the flesh and the life that went through your body. There is a mystery about the oil that went through your nostrils. Can we just bless the Lord again tonight? Thank you, Father. We give you glory and we give you praise. Now, wait. Check your bodies. Those of you who particularly have been healed tonight by the Lord, I want you to raise that hand to the Lord to give him his glory. Check your body right away. Those of you who have been healed particularly by the Lord, be ready to tell us what specific healing you know. Otherwise, don't raise your hand. Uh -huh. So, those of you who have been healed by the Lord, can you wave to him and thank him that you can confirm that he has touched a part of your body tonight? Can you just wave unto him? <laughs> Dr. Tayo, you came from Cameroon. And give him the mic. What were you healed of? I mean, because you came from Cameroon, you will testify. It's your chest. Uh -huh. Yes. Now when I'm cramping, I am. I'm quickly tired. You are breathless. Yes. When we are coming today, I came out of the car before I entered the camp. And I walk until the... Then after suddenly I begin to feel some pain here. But this is not the first time. Even there, I was trying to do something. I feel a pain here. Please, I don't. Amen. Let's put our Amen. hands together. Let's put our hands together for Je to Jesus. Who is the second testifier? Give her the mic.
cannot do what you can do. Wear my shoes. You cannot wear your shoes. If I wear, I will be limited. Wow. But now that you spoke, it has done, sir. You don't feel the pain. No, sir. Do you have any shoes close by so that? Did you wear it just now before proclaiming that? Yes. Oh, you wore it. Yes, sir. When I wear it, I will limp. To like to limp. Yes. But now, I'm not like. This. Let's put our hands together for hallelujah. Jesus. Somebody shout hallelujah. And you know, one of the things the Lord made me to do while I was on that altar was to anoint my heel. I found myself putting the oil on my heel. It was an instinct to close the gates that the enemy will not have an entrance to smite me. I didn't hear somebody say amen. And the muzzle thing connected to the heel has taken place there. Come on, let's give Jesus a big clap up in somebody. The lady there is eager to share her own. Give her. I'm allowing this tonight so that you know that every meeting God does miracles. There is no miracle in this meeting, meeting in this place that God has not done great miracles. It's just that we don't spend the hours testifying otherwise the vigil will become a true vigil till morning 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. <laughs> By the time we start testifying and going into other ministrations we will not leave till the morning. Yes. Uh, don't tell us another story. It has to do with something that happened this night by the hand of the Lord. Let her tell us. Put at the house and uh, all the tongues of angels. She for that. She, At, sorry, huh? Daddy. She actually said she fell down and her waist was paining her. And right in this meeting, while you're speaking, the pain from the waist is gone. Yes, the Lord said about removing something from the vertebra. <laughs> Father, in the name of Jesus, I shake her lava hand. Satan had tormented you with different kinds of ailments, not one, not two, not three, not four. And every time it's like they are moving from one part of the body to the other. So every time there are all kinds of ailments. Almost at no time is there no ailment speaking in your life. But today, 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 the stool of Satan in your life is removed. Today, I break the power of that and I release his healing upon your life. Receive now, receive now, receive now. Let your body be flushed through and through. Father, unlock this body now. Let all Jesus. I see four spirits of torment getting out of your life. I rebuke them one by one. Four spirits of torments, including the spirit of depression. I break its power in the name of Jesus Christ. Shake into river Santa. I see the mysteries of the power of God being restored back to your life. The giftings you had. I see them re-manifesting. Receive now. Receive now. Taking a deep breath. Breathe out in the name of Jesus. Receive a new body. Receive a new spirit. In Jesus name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Let's give Jesus a big clap up in somebody. I had to do that. Because outside her testimony were other dark forces at work. And they needed to be spoken to. So that she can go completely whole. And not continue patterns of ailments. Or oppression. Or complaints. Because I saw four spirits bringing torments. 
every one of you that is under siege, may your oils answer for you now. Everywhere you enter, Satan will be swallowed up. Can we take an offering to the Lord and just give thanks? And listen. If you are led to help us pay salaries this month, we've not paid that yet. Go ahead and help us pay the salaries. I won't say more than that. I repeat, if you are here, this month's salary, if you are, we have never missed any salary from the Lord. But if you are led to help us pay salaries, even from outside the country, go ahead. Let the Lord set remembrances for you. Let's rise up on our feet, everybody. Glory, honor, power, majesty.
If it is to separate things, let them separate things. If it is to secure and protect, let them secure and protect. If it is to build nations, let them build. But I release those permanents into your life to do the biddings of creation in your life. Thank you, Father, for doing this. In Jesus' name. And the people say, Amen. You may go back to your seats. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Let's put our hands together. Therefore, I release you now. According to the last word that the Lord spoke to his daughter, so shall it be with you. Farmer shall go before you to reestablish your, your position, going to bring stability on the earth. When God set farmer in the heavens, you don't know their work. Today I release the power of their significance into your life to protect and defend you. I release the angels that carry them to carry you with them also. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release you as a fruitful field. Go now and testify throughout the earth. According to the testimonies that have begun to come, so shall your testimonies be. Thank you, Holy Father. Take all the glory. Go and bring back your testimonies and bring back a kingdom for God. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, in Jesus' name. And the people say, Amen. And just before I drop the mic, I want to welcome our chairman to the board meeting we'll be holding in the earlier hours of the morning. Our brother and uncle. I want to thank God that he was able to make it. We've not met now as a board more than one year. And today, God is making that possible later today. I want to welcome all the board members. Jaiwawa Kure is there. Mrs. Arua is here. And other board members. And the latest and youngest one, uh, Apostle Tasi. I want to welcome them to this morning's meeting. I'm not sure whether Baba Gani has arrived. Uh, they are coming in the morning. Okay, praise the Lord. So our elders, all the elders that watch over the throne room, coming in this morning. We will sit in a board meeting. We want to thank God for Dr. Ndanusa Akanya himself. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. We want to thank God for the beautiful wife who has also kept our other boards stable. We give God glory for all of their lives. Dr. Dairo, welcome. I hear you are coming to repeat what you, what you are a specialist in. You are coming to shed blood here. Well, he understands what I mean by shedding blood. He is the chief circumciser in throne room. So anytime they are circumcising adults, he has anointing for adults. He circumcises adults. And they go back rejoicing him. Why they don't cry, I don't know. Not under his hand. He shout, hallelujah. I want to thank you for your services that you have done to this ministry and to God. In the day when they circumcised 200 people at once because they got born again and insisted they must be circumcised. In the mission fields, himself, Dr. David, and quite a number of our doctors spent two, three days, night and day, circumcising people. In their hundreds, the whole village gave, villages gave their lives to Jesus and the men decided they must be circumcised that night as a sign that they are sons of Abraham. It was a mystery. I've never seen revival of that nature. They pleaded for And while they were circumcising them, without any thorough anesthesia, there, is no, there was no anesthesia. The pain was going through them, and the people were singing and shouting, Jesus is Lord. In the mission field, we will never forget that testimony. Oh, greater days of revival are ahead of us. I release you into that revival in the name of Jesus. You will take an offering of signs and wonders and a thanksgiving unto the Lord tonight as we sing and as you drop you can go
know that is what I'm looking for. As we brought you can go with the angels that are around you. And please, if you are led to hold our hands in the ministry, go ahead and hold the hands. Very soon, some of you may need to begin to confer with your businesses about this. We are wanting people who will begin to sow five million and above, particularly for the closing of this talk. We sense that in this second half, we should close this talk thoroughly. What you see here is temporary. But we need a thorough, the original ceiling. If you are led from two million upwards, sow a seed into this sanctuary that the Lord may write a memorial for you. There is a sanctuary account, this sanctuary, new sanctuary account. So you put it directly into the sanctuary account. It's not going through the ministry. And if you mistakenly put it into any of the ministry account, write us and let us know. So that they put the money back for us to close this place. That is the major glory that is left here. And this building will be as much as complete. Every other thing is minor. Are we blessed tonight? Go in this